Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to start a new series. I'm going to do three videos in this series. This is the Starting Your Farm series. What we're going to look at on the series is the three new modes that are in Farm Sim. One video for each mode because each one's going to be a little bit different. Um, and we're going to kind of look at the equipment that you need to start a farm, what you should keep in mind. Um, this is not about how to use the equipment or how to take care of your fields. We're really looking at ways to be successful as a farmer. Um, so tonight we're going to start a new farm and we're going to do what's called the new farmer mode. Okay, we've got new farmer, farm manager, and start from scratch. This used to be easy, normal, and difficult, but they've changed things quite a bit in each mode since Farming Simulator 17, where they used to just give you different amounts, of, different amount of money and different amount of crops. Now, each mode actually gives you very different loans, different loan amounts, different amounts that you can take out, different pieces of equipment different properties i mean it's really very different between modes that's why we're going to split it so we're looking at new farmer tonight the next video will be on farm manager i want to keep this on a default map what you're going to find with some mod maps is even though you're supposed to get stuff you don't get anything or sometimes they give you too much or not enough but uh we're going to take a look at um our felsbrun map to start with and so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the map started, right? <laughs> Here we go. So now that we've loaded, the second thing that we need to do is we need to assess our situation. Um, what buildings do we have? What do we have that we can sell? What do we have that we don't need or maybe would like to upgrade? How much of a loan can we get? And um, so on this mode, you have a six hundred, I think, thousand dollar loan that you can take up, or five hundred and forty-five thousand that you can take out, and you have no loan right now. So you could either just play with the equipment that you have and try to make ends meet, which you definitely can do, or you can try to upgrade some of the stuff by taking out a loan, selling some of it, and uh, making this a little bit easier to do. Because right now we have, if we look at our map, once again we're checking resources. That's the first thing we're going to do is see what they've given us. So we have fields. Looks like here we own fields 19 and 20. So that's, we got two pretty decent, this one field is small, but the other one is actually pretty decent sized. Uh, 19 is a pretty large field. We've also got this harvester. <laughs> uh, so now let's take a look at the equipment and see what we got. Um, we're going to go to our vehicle page. We're going to click on the garage. Down at the bottom, we press Y to get to the garage. And you are going to see that we have two Fent Favorite tractors. Both of these can be upgraded to 150 horsepower. Um, these are good tractors. We have a Fiat uh, 1300 DT tractor, which is a decent tractor um, for what it is. Now, it's really slow running, but it's got 150 horsepower. I don't think the Fent can be upgraded. We have a very small harvester and a very small tipper. Um, these may You may want to replace it right away. And to be honest with you, I don't think you really need three small tractors. Um, one medium-sized tractor and maybe one small tractor would be a good setup. Um, or just one medium-sized tractor if you can live with it. It is nice having two tractors, though, because you can do one like working with a harvester and a worker while the other one's working on a field. Um, so having two tractors is nice. Having three is a little bit overkill. Um, this cedar is terribly small, and this cultivator is terribly small um now for buildings we have a farmhouse you probably should keep that because that's where you sleep and live <laughs> you can sell it though if you want uh you have a farm storage shelter that's probably a good idea to keep your tractors under shelter if possible uh we have this farm barn which uh, to me it's decoration and we have a grain silo which is very useful because we can store grains as we pull them off the fields until we want to deliver them so I'd say, for me, the candidates, the farm barn, we're going to take a look at that building real quick here and see what it does. That door does not open and close. And it has a little tiny door. What would you even do with this building aside from decorate your farm with it? So this is $50,000 that you don't need to have. Is it unrealistic to demo it and get rid of it? Probably but we don't need it. To be honest with you, this shed is kind of useless too. Now, it's cool looking, but it's I'd rather put a modern shed or two modern sheds here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, 
So maybe what we do, uh, we definitely want to get, you know, this tractor is cool and stuff and the fence are cool, but I think we want a little bit more horsepower for this farm. And this harvester is terrible once again. So let's go ahead and move this equipment out and we're going to pick some new equipment. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the bank. This will be our third or second resource really. So we've got buildings and equipment we can sell. We can take a $650,000 loan out from the bank. Borrow, borrow, borrow. And it takes forever to get the loan out, but there we go. So we're going to have a daily payment that's about, I think, about 1000 to $2,000 a day for our payment, which we can manage uh, because we have enough crop to pay that off. So we got $645,000 plus all this equipment to sell, plus the grain that is on. We, this, this is ready to harvest, so we have a full thing of wheat here ready to harvest. Um, and the other thing that they give you when you're on this mode is that you get uh, and this is not true of all farms, but of the Giants farms and the ones that are like the sponsored farms or whatever, you should get some crops. So you can see here I have 14,000 liters of wheat, 14,000 liters of barley, 12,000 liters of oats, 14,000 liters of cotton. I'm sorry, canola, not cotton. Um, we got sunflower seeds, we got uh, soybeans, we got corn. They've got a bunch of stuff to sell. That's probably about $100,000 or more worth of crop that we have to sell, too. So I think once we do all of this, let's. I'm going to go ahead and um, the first thing we're going to do is sell the equipment, and then we're going to sell, get a bigger tipper and sell the crop. And I think that we're just going to upgrade tractors. Like I said, the fence are great if you want to stick with them. You, you don't have to do this. Like I said, you could just play this game and, and use the equipment that they gave you and keep all of it, have no loan, um, and do survival that way. And you really could get everything that you need done with the equipment that they've given you. But uh, you're going to have weeds because you have no weeder. You're going to have to get some kind of sprayer to fertilize the fields. So we're missing things. So we're going to make our own equipment set. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this stuff. Now, one hint that I want to give you while I drive down to the shop and we'll, I'll give you an example of this when we get there. But you always want to sell the equipment at the shop sell point. Um, the reason that you do this is because it's worth less if you sell it from the menu. So if you pull into the, the shop square, and we're going to do that right now, uh, you'll see the difference in pricing if I go into my menu and try to sell it or if I try to sell it uh, at the shop. It's about a 20% uh, increase uh, if you do it this way. So we're going to go pull in here. And I'm going to show you in my in my menu if I go in here and I go to my fiat. If I try to sell this through here, they're going to give me $44,220. If I go here to sell it, they're giving me $53,064. So you always want to sell equipment at the shop. You definitely don't want to take it uh, through. I mean, if you're being lazy, you can sell it through your garage, but you're going to lose. That's you know, twelve thousand dollars right there that we um, that we got by selling it that way. So I'm gonna leave the weight here. We're not gonna sell the weights. So there we go. Drop the weight, and I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run the rest of the equipment down to the store, and we're gonna sell all of it. All right. So I've sold off everything that we need to sell off equipment-wise. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this farm storage shelter because nah, and the farm barn. Yeah. Bye. And now I'm in a train because that's the only vehicle I have. <laughs> so let's look at what we've got. We've got um, of just over a million dollars to spend on equipment. We haven't even sold any grain yet, uh, and we still have an entire field of wheat. So we have probably $100,000 more available to us, but I haven't done that. And we're going to just hold on to that. For the tutorial, I'm going to um, just start purchasing the equipment so that you guys can see what I think is a good match set for this farm. Um, first of all, we need a a medium tractor. Uh, once again, I think probably if we're going to go for the single tractor type thing, we're looking for a tractor that has 150 plus horsepower. Um, if we stay with the Fent line, we can get this uh, Vario set up with, um, with a nice 240 horsepower engine. Uh, we can also put a front loader attacher on it so that we can have anything that we need as far as um, there we 
we go. So we have everything that we need uh, as far as moving stuff back and forth from the shop because we're going to have some materials that we're going to need to move back and forth. Now, when you're playing on new farmer mode, the farm's kind of set on easy. You don't ever have to plow, so we don't have to worry about having a cultivator or a cult to plow. But we have a 240 horsepower tractor, so I would recommend these pieces of equipment to go with this. Um, harvesters. We have our... Um, We've got a Massey Ferguson Activa. This is the best bang for the buck harvester in the game. Gets you a decent size without having to break the bank. Um, and you can get the header that goes with it. So we have our Activa header. Free flow header. If you want to do corn and stuff, you might want to consider purchasing a corn header also. I also buy a trailer for that header so we can move it around. And we're going to get it with a matching Massey Ferguson color. Okay, so now we have taken care of our motive power and our f our harvesting issues. Um, the next thing that I would recommend, we have our cedar line. We have hmm, with 240 horsepower, we probably could put a pretty big cedar. Um, I recommend going the seeding route. I mean, if you want to do planting and do corn and stuff like that, you're going to have to... They're going to take more... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess you could do... I mean, whichever way you want to go. And this is why it's hard to do these tutorials, because you could go either direction. This guy requires 270. We don't have enough horsepower for that. So really, um, if you do this guy, he doesn't require that much horsepower, and it's nice and wide. The downside is you're going to have to cultivate the fields beforehand. Or if you get something like this, like this uh, Rapid A, you don't. You, it cultivates and... Uh, it's not as wide, but it cultivates and seeds in one pass. But this guy, this guy doesn't fertilize either. So neither of these fertilize. So you're going to have to get a solid fertilizer. Um, whew, that's a tough one. <laughs> I almost feel like that's expensive, but I almost feel like this would you get your fields done faster. But we don't maybe necessarily have enough field for that to be an issue. So... Why don't we pick up our Rapid A? This will do us well. and it uh, So this cultivates at the same time. So we have that. So we're basically just going to cultivate and um, seed at once. And then we're going to go into the menu. We still need to get a fertilizer. I would recommend the Breedall K105. Um, we're going to get the large capacity top. I would say narrow tires in case you ever need to use this after a crop started growing. You definitely want the six meter spreading unit on it. So that's 50,000 bucks. It's expensive. But now you have a fertilizer and you can put lime down on the fields when they need lime. We'll talk about that in another tutorial, but you're going to need to be able to lime your field. So that does both liming and solid fertilizer. If you want to be realistic about things, you're going to have to kill the weeds, okay? If you're playing with weeds on, and this version of the game does, or this, not version, this mode in the game does have weeds. We can either go for a, a weeder, like these, or we can go for a sprayer that does both fertilizer and spray. And I would recommend that because even though you have to buy the, the spray, we're going to get this and we're going to get the front tank for it. Uh, even though you have to do both of these um, and you have to put spray or herbicide and buy it, uh, this gives you their second stage of fertilization and you can kill the weeds at any stage. This the the regular weeders have to be used within the first stage of growth. You can't use them once the weeds have grown to second stage. So if the weeds are have grown to first stage, you can use it, but you can't use it after that. So these allow you to do it whenever. I mean, you can have fully grown weeds with the flowers on top. As long as the crop's not fully grown, you can use these to spray. Once again, we'll go over that in the, in the crop care video that I'm going to make for you guys, like how to grow crops. But... Um, this is uh, what you need to do both weeding and uh, also a second type of fertilizer. So you put, what you'll do is you'll put this down and then seed, or you'll put the seed down and then put this down, either or. And then once the crops grow a stage, you're going to put this down. And then when the weeds appear, you're going to put use this to put the spray down. So we have a full system for caring for and planting. We also have a full system for harvesting here. Now, what are we missing? Well, we don't have a tipper. Uh, we're going to go in the menu here, and I would suggest that you get 
the trans space seems to be the best bang for the buck. It's a little bit big to deal with. You could probably get maybe two of, two of these. Like I get one of these and one of these. I, sometimes I'll put this on the front where the tractor is and then connect this up to this and make like a train. But it's up to you. Uh, Joskin Wagon works just fine. Uh, we'll do that for this. So we still have uh, we have so we have that to pick up. And the last but not least, we're gonna need something to transport. You're gonna have to buy pallets of fertilizer, herbicide. You're gonna have to buy seed bags and fertilizer bags. Uh, I wouldn't. I suggest getting lime from the lime station because you need a lot of lime. But these you can bring back to your farm. Um, you're gonna so you're gonna need something to transport them with and something to pick them up with. So I would suggest getting arms for your tractor. Cheapest way to do it. We already have weights back at the farm, so we're going to just use those weights. There's that. So we have over oh, those probably appeared yeah, here up front. So that can connect to the front of the tractor. You put the weight on the back and then you can pick it up. But we also need a trailer. Now, there's a couple things here. They didn't give us very many trailers um, in the game default. So if you don't have any mods installed, there's really not very many choices. You have this green trailer, which, wait, where did it go? Uh, bailing, there we go. I picked the wrong category. You've got this Flegel trailer for $26,000. Uh, it's expensive. It's big. It has cages to hold stuff on. It's not a bad trailer, but it's really expensive. Um. Your other option is to go into the tipper section, which is here. You can get this guy as a no-sided device. It can carry like six pallets, and then you can stack them on top of each other too if you want to get fancy. But uh, this is um, the the cheapest or, uh, alternative that we have if you don't have mods. Now, if you have mods, well, then the world's your oyster. We're going to have, we're going to go through here. And we have probably the easiest one. We have some bale, bale trailers here. You can put those on these, and they're cheap. Uh, we have this truck trailer, if you want to use a semi-truck. Uh, we have this right here for $16,000, uh, the DPW-180, which is our bale trailer. That works well for moving these pallets also. And we have this uh, PTL-20R. Um, that's a mod that we can use for moving this stuff. All of these, Metal Tech, Lizard, all these things are, are usable. Um, these two here, the refurbished flatbed, the bale trailer. It, it's. I wish they would have given us more options uh, in-game, but you have to have mods to them. The good news is most of those mods are available for console and for PC. So uh, if you're on the console, just look for a good trailer mod, and they're, they're there. But for this farm, since we're not using mods, we're going to be stuck with the bale loading wagon. So... I think I just purchased it twice. I did. Oops. So add $8,000 back. But that is what I feel like a good equipment set is. Once again, you can do this any way you want. And don't forget, we still have more stuff to sell uh, back at the farm. And we still have $349,000 of loan that we have. We can put, pay back the bank maybe some money. Uh, but this is everything that you need to start the farm. So once again, we've got a nice tractor. We've got a harvester. And we've got uh, front loader arms. We've got a trailer to po uh, put the stuff on. You could actually hook these two trailers together since I bought two by mistake. And you could put even more product on. But when we buy seed and fertilizer, we can load those onto here. We've got a solid fertilizer spreader, seeder that cultivates, and a sprayer that can do both herbicide and um, fertilizer. And once again, this does lime also. So this does lime and solid fertilizer. And then we have a tipper to move all of our products. And so let's head back to the farm. There's still more that we have to do. So hold on one sec. All right, so back at the ranch. We are going to add some buildings because we've sold a whole bunch of buildings. Um, one thing that, once again, I would suggest, we do need to repair and upgrade our tractor. You're going to need to put care wheels on it when you're doing crop fertilization. I'd suggest putting a shop here somewhere. Eh, right there. That's good. Uh, I also like to keep my tractors clean. So I would suggest putting a washer there. Don't put the washer by the trigger for the shop because that'll mess everything up and it won't work. Um, what else do we have here? If you have mods, once again, I know not most of you guys try not to do the mod thing, but 
Uh, if you are using mods, uh, in the mod section there is this fuel tank for 5,000 liters, which is a great fuel tank. Uh, I would definitely suggest putting one of these on the farm also. Right there, that works. Ooh, that looks bad, but okay. And we've gotten rid of our pen for tractors. I think we need to have some sort of shed. So we're going to go back to non-mods, and we're going to go to sheds. And I like the Easy Shed 2 is huge. Look at the size of that thing. If you guys have watched my Felsbrin series, this is exactly what I did. Unfortunately, my tractor's in the way, so let me move that out. All right, so I'm going to move this back in here, and there we go. I'm going to put this... Eh, I'd like to go right there. Doesn't give us much room by the house, though. But can you imagine walking out to that every day? Blech. Try to move it away. Eh, we can, eh. Boop. There we go. So let's take a look at this shed here. It's very closed. <laughs> Looks terrible. Uh, but that's where I'm just showing you. This is what you can do. So all your equipment should easily fit inside this shed because it's freaking huge. You have access to your grain dump. Um, so we have pretty much everything we need. We can get the tractors, uh, put the care wheels on and off here. We can also, you know, change configurations up if we need to upgrade a tractor or, or a piece of equipment. We can do that here. We can also repair everything here. So now we still have $288,000 left plus the money that we have. So the next step that I would recommend is to empty out your silo, get that remaining $100,000 out, and... Uh, I would go since, you know, what makes you money in this way? If you're doing crops and you're buying a, a crop equipment, I would honestly buy field 18. $180,000, which is not bad. Uh, I would add this to your farm as soon as possible. Now, unfortunately, I think the farmer, if I remember right, is growing potatoes on there. So you might want to wait till they're grown and take the mission to harvest those potatoes. Actually, it's corn. Oh. So if you can get the mission to harvest corn on that field, on field 18, harvest the corn, get the money for the harvest, or buy it and sell the crop yourself. You'd have to rent it. You'd have to rent a corn header, but that's fine. Uh, but I would I would buy this field as soon as possible um, and add that to your money making. So, uh, but yeah, that is pretty much how to set up a farm on the new farmer. Hopefully that helped you guys figure out like best practices. Once again, I'll just sit down at the here and uh, go through the equipment that you need. You got a tractor. You're going to need a harvester with uh, at least a wheat header, maybe both headers. Some kind of front-loading device with a trailer that you can take with you um, so that you can load your seed pallets and your fertilizer pallets and drag them around the farm. You're going to need uh, a seeder. I prefer you get one that cultivates. And if you can get one, if you have a big enough tractor, you can get one that also uh, puts down fertilizer. But... These are, this is important here. This, you know, at least it cultivates and it's wide enough that it's going to get those fields done fairly quickly. You're going to need a lime spreading device that also spreads solid fertilizer. Um, if you have one of these that also fertilizes, then you don't you just use this for lime, but you're going to need this at some point or other. So you could, you could lease it too. You don't have to buy it. But uh, here we have um, our sprayer. This takes care of weeds and also the second stage of fertilization. And you're going to need a tipper to move your product. And that's pretty much everything you need to get the farm running. So hopefully that helps you guys. Like I said, we still have $288,000 plus all those crops. And if we buy that field, we still have $100,000 or $80,000. Wait. Yeah, $80,000 left over plus the crops. So like $180,000. So you're still doing great. You have enough money to grow another set of crops and start making money. All right, guys. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, always help. And hope you found this tutorial a benefit. Have a great night.